Hey, race fans, it's race day, top five, with me, Frank Five. And the first day of Speed Weeks at Daytona is in the books. And it's time to talk about our five important facts from today at Daytona. The Clash, the pole sitter race, that was supposed to be run last night. It moved to today because of weather. Number two, Joey Logano comes out on top in the Clash of Wins ahead of Kyle Busch, Alex Bowman, Danica Patrick, and Kevin Harvick. Number three, Denny Hamlin was trying to block Brad Keselowski for the lead on the last lap, and unfortunately, a wreck cost both of them. Number four, we just finished qualifying, and this guy, Chase Elliott, for the second year in a row, is on the pole for the Daytona 500. And a little bit of a fun fact to add to that, this is three years in a row that Hendrick Motorsports with the 24 has won the pole for the 500. Two years ago, it was Jeff Gordon in his final Daytona 500 and group qualifying. But this is the second year in a row that Chase Elliott's done it with single car qualifying runs, one lap each. Number five, Dale Earnhardt Jr., who sat out half of the season last year, is on the front row with Chase today as he qualified second. He was a booth commentator in the class today because Alex Bowman won the pole at Phoenix last year in the 88 car. So Junior gave Bowman the opportunity. He finished third. And Junior had a blast up in the booth with Mike Joy, Daryl Waltrip, and Jeff Gordon. I thought it was a fun race, to be honest with you. A couple of other things to talk about heading into uh, the rest of the week. Um, I felt like the Stuart Haas cars showed a lot of speed with their new manufacturer change over the offseason. season. They worked a lot with the Penske guys in that race. Kevin Harvick, Danica, uh, Kozlowski, and Joey Logano. Now, as for Jimmy Johnson, I think he really needs to stop running this clash because this is the sixth year in a row he has failed to finish the clash due to a crash. Two times today, he crashed. He crashed the first time, spinning Kurt Busch under the wall. And then Jimmy Johnson got loose off of four on the inside of Chase, and Jimmy finished... 16th he, he can't run this class he just can't his car is too loose or else he gets caught up in people's misfortune that he has to get caught up in as well oh and by the way chase finished seventh in the race also to point out daniel suarez who took over the 19 car after carl Edwards surprisingly retired last month finished eighth in the race seventh. he was in the top five most of the race i think he learned a lot but i still think this thursday's can m duels along with practice leading up to the 500 as well as the xfinity race this coming saturday he's got a little bit of learning to do he knows this is a big step in his career he's filling in the shoes of a guy who should have won that championship last year had he not blocked logano the last few laps of homestead i that's all i can basically say about that now for the open teams coming into thursday there are only two locked in and they are rcr powered cars from beard motorsports and tommy baldwin racing brendan gone elliot sather they're locked into the 500 p.s i kind of picked those guys to lock themselves in from qualifying today and mission accomplished so the other two four two drivers that can make it in via speed are reed Sorensen and dj kennington but as for randy lajoy son Corey lajoy and timmy hill from maryland they're going to have to race their way in on Thursday. And whoever races their way in on Thursday, only one driver from each duel on Thursday can race their way in. Two drivers will load up and go home. Who will they be? We don't know. You got to tune in Thursday night, 7 p.m. on Fox Sports 1 to watch the KM duels in order to figure out who's going to make the 500 and where all the other charter teams are going to be starting. Now, as for Chase Elliott and Dale Jr., all you got to do is take care of your car on Thursday. Don't write that thing or else you're going to the back on Sunday. So, it's basically all I got for you guys today. This is my first, basically, full report of the start of the new season, 2017. I'm excited, and uh, I cannot wait for the rest of this week. I'm going to be doing a video Friday on the Can-Am duels, as well as the truck race. Also, tune in that night, 7 o'clock, Fox Sports 1. And then I'm going to do a video Saturday of a preview with who's going to win the Daytona 500 and the championship with a little special guest, if things work out as well as the review from the Xfinity Series race. And then I will do my five <clears throat> things to talk about from the Daytona 500 next Sunday. Tune in Fox Sports on Fox, 2 o'clock p.m. to Epi Daytona Day. It's coming around the bend a week from today. I can't wait for the season. I hope you all are as well. So in the meantime, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Put a good year ago like in the video if you enjoyed this video. We're back racing, people. Let's go, Daytona. It's time to go fast. Bye.